Hello and welcome to Carol Helping Carol. I'm Bob Champaglia, a media maker and community producer for the Community Media Center. Carol Helping Carol is a show dedicated to showcasing local nonprofits and how the things that they do benefit your community. In this episode, we'll be highlighting Carol Food Sunday. Carol Food Sunday is a food bank located in Westminster, Maryland, with other locations throughout Carroll County. We are joined today by Carol Food Sunday board members, Frank Baylor and Melissa Wilcox. Please enjoy. So we're here with uh, Melissa Wilcox, member of the board of directors for Carol Food Sunday. Hi, Melissa, how are you? Hi, thanks so much for having us today. My pleasure. Uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about Carol Food Sunday. Give us a little background, if you don't mind. Sure. It's a 501c3 organization, completely local, grassroots organization, providing emergency and supplemental food to our needy local residents in Carroll County. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful opportunity for people to give a tangible product uh, as part of giving back, which is something that's very unique to a nonprofit. So often it's service, mm -hmm. and this is service combined with a tangible, being able to provide something that is immediately used by our clients. That's awesome. Um, what are some uh, success stories, and what's, what's good? What, what's happening that you like to brag about right oh now? Oh my gosh, there's so much. <laughs> I mean, so, I mean, what's good is, is how incredibly generous our community is. That's, yeah. what's, that's what's good. Yes. And SNK Roofing, as an example, does food donations on an ongoing basis. Mm -hmm. Downtown Yoga, which is a, a new organization in Westminster, uh, did a, a food drive in November, right before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Their mission is about community. Our mission is about community. Mm -hmm. It was perfect, and it was right down the street. That's so awesome. we have lots of organizations from large companies to small one-on-ones doing these food drives that directly impact our residents to be able to give back. And it's just so gratifying to see mm -hmm. the literal truckloads of food mm -hmm. that go into the hands of our families. Yes, absolutely. That's wonderful. Uh, what kind of outreach do you have to go out to these places to let them know you're there and, and uh, what they can do to help? Sure. So we, on an ongoing basis, we are trying to promote our mission, both in social media. We have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So I hope everybody could like our Facebook page because we talk about the goings on. Mm -hmm. We have a great website. And it's just word of mouth a lot of the times, and a number of organizations will say, how can we help? And we say, my goodness, there's so many ways. Wow. So you can have a company come in and help for the day, and they can help unpack food. They can mm -hmm. help welcome clients. And just the day-to-day -day tasks that we have to, to accomplish, we're a largely volunteer organization, so every little bit helps. Mm -hmm. Welcome to another edition of Know Your Crew, a segment dedicated to recognizing the folks behind the scenes. How about we get to know your crew? Rocking this production while we're rolling the cameras, we have Sean Dinney and his partner in crime, Brenda Dinney. Now I would like to cordially invite you to intrinsically monitor the rest of the crew in the control room. The air is literally surging with the electricity of creativity, inspiration, and possibly even due to the occasional exposed wire. Always remember, viewers, this much visibly unbridled fun can be dangerous. At the helm of our metaphorical ship, this is Carol helping Carol. We have Alan Butler running the switcher. Can you hear me? Well, you should. I sound magnificent. That's all thanks to our audio engineer, Cody McLaughlin. And next to Cody, loading this place up with so much visual pizzazz, it could cause retinal problems, but in a good way, is our graphics operator, Nikki James. Wave at the folks at home, guys, and acknowledge, it's their acknowledgement, they earned it. We could possibly continue this tour without supporting our players. The backseat drivers, the fourth string contenders, filling up the peanut gallery. It's Kevin McDermott and me. I'm Mike Phil. But mostly, uh, we want to spotlight you folks out there watching. Back to you in the studio. 
Go ahead and uh, plug the Facebook page. I guess it's facebook.com. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Carol, <laughs> Carol Food Sunday. And it's, right yeah, out. absolutely. And so you can find us and you can hear about our events and the wonderful donations from people big and small, you know, a small birthday party or a company, you know, Subaru or mm -hmm. even Carol Lutheran Village. They donate their space for one of our fundraisers. Mm -hmm. it's, there's, we can be so creative in how you can provide a tangible benefit to our, mm -hmm. to our residents. Awesome. Uh, in terms of volunteers, it's a big part of your organization. Yes. Uh, how do you, uh, I have two parts of this question, how mm -hmm. do you go out and solicit volunteers? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you reach out? We, we try, we, we, we do things like this, where so hopefully somebody, this will, this will get, generate someone's interest and say, gosh, I've been trying to figure out a way to give back. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that, we can go, you can go right on our website and it shows ways that you sign up to be a volunteer. Okay. Our website's very easy to navigate. You can also send us a message on Facebook. Uh, you can call our number and ask how they can volunteer. So it's a lot about word of mouth because again, we are a volunteer organization, so as much as we can do. Mm -hmm. and, but it's, it's, and we do three mailers a year mm -hmm. that go out to solicit uh, both time, talent, and donations. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you work with the schools for service hours? We, they, yes, I mean, service hours, it's so wonderful. I mean, it's, it's one of those things that you know, the schools, they're mandated service hours, exactly. right? <laughs> but what I love about it is that some of these individuals, they will do something just once, these kids, and they're like, and they're like, wow, I really, I really like this. Can I come back? And so, and I think that was the intention of that program Absolutely. was to introduce people to the service of giving and that it's not just money, it's talent, it's time. And again, this tangible food, it's something you can hold in your hand and it's not just an idea, but you're handing somebody something to sustain their family. That, it, that's, that those are the ties that bind to an organization. Of course, yeah, because uh, when you have children involved, students, it's almost like you don't want to uh, have them come in and be like, just, I'm here for the hours. Right. Giving them something like this to do that makes them feel good inside. Like you said, you want to come back and do it again. Absolutely. And they're, they'll, they'll tell everybody oh my gosh. about it. <laughs> oh, and Bob, we put them to work. I mean, so, so we, you know, so when we, when we have the uh, food to table, uh, the farm, the farm to table brunch, for example, you know, they're like, what can we do? I'm like, okay, let's bust the tables. Let's do this. Let's do that. And they just jumped right in mm -hmm. and we could not do what we do without our volunteers, mm -hmm. big and small. And yeah. from the smallest person handing out, you know, information to, uh, right. to running it, running in our 5k or coming to a brunch. I mean, there's so many ways you can give back. And they can volunteer at any one of the two. You have three. We have three, three locations. locations. Yeah, right. one. And so our main locations in Westminster, right. but Tawny Town and Eldersburg as well. So okay. we're geographically dispersed, okay. but uh, there's lots of great ways. And a food drive, you can do it on your own. So right. it doesn't have to be physically at our location. Oh, okay. So the average guy can uh, can do something with them with their family. And oh my gosh! Raise some, raise some uh, get some food together and bring it your way. I love average guy. Average guy is what makes our organization yeah. tick. It's, we're we're a land of average guys. Exactly. Yeah. Making the yeah land of average guys doing above average things. Obviously. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yes, common people doing uncommon things. Eight thousand pounds a week. I mean, That's that great. is truly uncommon and very special. That's wonderful. You guys are doing great work. Thank you so much, and Melissa. Thank you so much for for your time. Absolutely. I Thanks for having us. On. Sure. Anytime. Okay. For more information on Carol Food Sunday, including how to donate, volunteer and their fundraising events, please visit their website, ccfoodsunday.org. This episode of Carol Helping Carol was brought to you by the Community Media Center. I would like to thank our guests for volunteering their time today to join us. I would also like to give a special thank you to you, our viewers. You can find this episode and other episodes of Carol Helping Carol on Comcast Channel 19, as well as YouTube. Thank you for watching.